morning, everybody. Welcome back. Happy Monday. It is, I think it's the 100th weekly vlog. 100 weeks. 100 weeks I've been doing this for. I have not skipped one weekly vlog for 100 weeks. You guys have seen what I've been doing every single week for 100 weeks. That is craziness to me. I wish I was doing something exciting, but I'm not. <laughs> There's nothing like 100 weekly vlog themed, but... This is actually going to be quite a fun vlog. As you can see, I'm just doing my makeup. Getting a little bit glam today because I am heading off to London with Soph to go to Misha Grimes's um, jewellery collaboration launch brunch. Do I feel a bit overdone up for a brunch? Yes. Did I just feel like putting on loads of makeup today? Yes. I haven't seen Soph in like a good... Probably like a month. I'm really looking forward to seeing her. I haven't seen so many of the girls who are going in like well over a year. Um, so it'll be a nice day. It'll be nice to celebrate Misha and go up to London and just, you know, feel like this is going to feel like normality, like real normality. I've not gone to like a proper event since lockdown. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. I just got a parcel in the mail. I ordered some... Christmas presents um, off of Fi. So I'm gonna show you those bits in a second. Some really, really cool stuff. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about Fi in a minute because they are kindly sponsoring the first portion of this vlog, which is very kind of them. Let's put some mascara on. Loads of you were asking what mascara I was wearing in last week's vlog. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes Mascara. Oh, sorry. My sister's husband, I think, just <laughs> um, just sent a message on the Albi group chat update chat and I think it was meant to just go for Amy and it was it's a really sweet message. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> right, let's get some mascara on. I'm also, as promised, going to insert some of the Malibu shoot clips. Obviously, I put some of them in last week, but they were they didn't have any of the products in. After I've spoken to you guys about Fi, I'll insert a little montage of us shooting because it was so fun and the set was super super cute god can you imagine being married <laughs> i'm sure a lot of you are but i'm just like that's mad to me that my sister's married with a baby <laughs> i'm just here like <gasps> nothing to see here folks one eye one eye open when i'm sleeping <laughs> I'm just in a crazy, goofy mood. <laughs> I went to bed at 8.30 last night. I feel like the whole of last week's vlog, I was complaining about being tired. So I went to bed at 8.30 last night because I wanted to get up at like 5.30, go to the gym at 6. I woke up at 7.30. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Sorry, I just got a weird DM. <laughs> I'm ready. Here's my makeup for the day. Um, I put my extensions in. I did a little princess ponytail. I feel very, I feel very Misha, to be honest. I think I'm gonna wear a suit. So I wanted to go like really girly feminine with my hair and my makeup and then wear a suit and trainers. It's all about the contrast, you know? So I'm gonna go and get dressed and then I'm gonna show you these bits from Fi. And then um, I think Soph's coming here and we're gonna go to the station together and pop off to the event. So one sec, let me go get dressed. BRB. Okay, here is my outfit of the day. Um, these suit trousers are from Zara. I'm actually gonna wear the matching blazer. I'm just gonna wear a full purple suit. I'm just wearing, um, this is also Zara, just a little black crop. And then I'm gonna wear, I'll show you it when I put it on, but just in case I forget to show you any of the outfit I thought I would tell you now. Um, I'm wearing that same kind of light green turtleneck jumper that I wore, I think in a bit last week I think I wore it. And trainers because I only wear trainers. <laughs> These trousers are really, really big on me. Um, they aren't the most flattering, but they're very, very comfortable. Now that the outfit's on, I feel much more comfortable with how princessy my hair is. <laughs> I'm very much like I like I need a good balance of like masculine and feminine in the mirror and I was like I actually feel a little bit uncomfortable with how girly my hair and makeup was like purple eyeshadow and princess curls but now that I'm wearing the outfit I'm like ah oh, 
balance is restored. You know what, while I've got you here, I am gonna show you these bits from Fi. Fi is an online website that collates loads of different artists. So it sells all kinds of products, but particularly homeware. Um, and you guys know I love finding fun, interesting homeware. I mean, look at my house. <laughs> I like patterns, I like color, and I like to experiment with my home. And I love buying people homeware for presents and Christmas and things like that. So I thought I'd show you a few bits that I've picked up for a couple of people for Christmas, as well as a couple of things for myself. And I will have them all linked down below for you guys if you'd like to check out Fi. They have products from varying different price ranges, um, so there is something for everyone there and I'm sure you can find some really cute Christmas presents. They've got a whole section just devoted to Christmas shopping, um, which is where I picked these items up from. So the first thing I picked up for myself and it is this print. It says, though she be but little, she is fierce. And this is something that I'm really trying to embody at the moment, being strong and not taking no bullshit. You know what I mean? It's just a really cute typography print. It came framed. There are loads and loads of different sizes that you can order. All of their art prints come in different sizes. And I thought that this would be cute in my office because I am little, but I am this. Don't mess with me. It will not end well for you. <laughs> but if you know someone who is vertically challenged, um, but is a little bit of a sass pot, then maybe that could be quite a nice little gift. My dad or Sam, if you're watching, please, stop watching for like two minutes okay just skip forward a couple minutes my dad and his girlfriend sam are very keen cyclists um they've become mammals middle-aged men in lycra it's his hobby and he absolutely loves it and i saw these matching mugs and i just had to get them for them for christmas so the first one says throw on some lycra and be magnificent and it's my dad the other one is sam <laughs> throw on some lycra and be fabulous honestly like normally i find kind of funny mugs a little bit cringy but these ones with these illustrations on fire are actually really like cute they've got some really really funny ones as well obviously i wanted to get the cycling themed ones because it's relevant and they can have a coffee or have a tea before they go out on their cycle with their cycling mugs i thought that was quite cute they have so many different topics, themes, and they're actually quite funny. So definitely have a browse if you're a mug lover like me. Okay, the next thing I picked up is this little booty. It is a planter. It's a naked lady's bum and not just any naked lady. She's a curvaceous woman and I love to see it. She's got some thick thighs. She's got cellulite. She isn't completely perfect, but she is. She is completely perfect just the way she is. So it's an outdoor planter. It's got the holes in the bottom, but you could also put it inside if you put it in like a tray or something. And I just think it is so cute. I do have a fake plant actually. Maybe a fake plant would work because then you don't have to worry about the holes. I just think having a plant coming out kind of reminds me of my growth tattoo like a woman growing, I just think it's super, super cool. And again, all of these were made by different artists um, who sell through Fi, on Fi. How cool is that? And then finally, speaking of naked curvy ladies, um, I actually have the brand card here. This is Interlude, is the name of the brand. I finally picked up one of these um, naked lady candles. I love this one, again, she is curvy, she's got boobs, she's got a bum, she's got hips, like many of us do. I think this would be such a lovely stocking filler for somebody. And it also smells, I'm just motorboating her. <laughs> it also smells delicious, but I could never burn this. She is just far too beautiful to burn. Yeah, if you have a curvy lady in your life, but they also have different body types. They've got super athletic builds, they've got super slim, etc. So you can find something that you resonate with. It doesn't have to be a curvy lady. So yeah, those are a few presents, a few gifts that I've picked up off of Fi. I will link Fi down below if you guys wanna check them out for yourself and have a look and maybe pick up a few gifts for yourself or for your loved ones this Christmas. Um, I can't believe I'm Christmas shopping. It's less than a month until Christmas. We are so close to December. It's the 29th of November today. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, once again, thank you, Fi, for working with me. I need to scurry off, uh, cause Soap's gonna be here soon. So I'm gonna insert 
the um, behind the scenes of the Malibu shoot now and then I'll be right back and we'll go to this event together. How does that sound? Great, great. We love to hear it. Okay, let's go team. Okay, let's go. Daphne, if she was like an 80s businesswoman. You picking up on that? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. We've got a familiar face. Hi, guys. <laughs> we are in a lovely area of South Kensington right now. Very posh, very pretty. Um, we are seven minutes away from the launch. We're running a little bit late, but what's new? This is Emma and so <laughs> We're late for everything. Actually, this time it wasn't our fault. Our train was cancelled. Yeah, that's not our fault. Sorry, I was burping as sofa speaking. <laughs> but we'll show you a little behind the scenes of the event. I'm excited to see Misha. I've not seen her in like, since summer in the, no, Big Beauty Day Out. Same. I don't think really? I have either. It's been a while. It's been years. So let's go catch up, eat some good food, and see this. I'm so excited to see her collection. It looks stunning. Let's go. Oh, it's a V&A. I love, I know exactly. Oh my God, this is, um, hang on, side, side story. Do you remember in last week's vlog or the week before, I think it was two weeks ago, I said that when the weather feels like this, I re it reminds me of a very specific day when I went to the V&A. Ah. The weather is the same. It feels like I'm repeating that day. Oh, so nice. Yeah. I have work to do. I did not get 
anything I needed to get done this morning. <laughs> I need to go. Fair enough. It's so full. So, that was delicious, but it was just like a lot of sugar. Let's skedaddle. Congrats, Misha. <laughs> Hey, congratulations. Oh god, I think I've literally stuck to your face. I'm really sorry. That's fine, it's probably my sweat. No, we're probably like mixing foundation shades. To be fair, I could do a bit more brown. So <laughs> thank you for coming, Missy. Oh, thanks for having me. Right, see you, you later. later. <laughs> Good evening, my little chicken dippers. I've returned home and I'm actually about to run out the door. I have five minutes to take off my makeup, put my gym gear on because I'm going to step. I didn't think step was on this week because my instructor had COVID, but she's back now <laughs> but I didn't know that I didn't I thought she wouldn't be here but she is so I'm gonna go to step and then I'm gonna come back and probably go straight to bed because um, I'm getting my lips done at 9 30 tomorrow morning and I'd quite like to go to the gym first okay right I'm gonna be late I need to go <laughs> morning happy Tuesday my first task for today so I just got a text from my lip lady and she's pushed my appointment back to 12 which is actually kind of helpful because I wanted to go to the gym um and I was gonna have to leave now and I'm not gonna lie to you the coffee hasn't hit yet pretty damn spoozy so instead I'm starting my day writing the Christmas cards to my subscribers who won the Parker Pen giveaway um, on my Instagram. Part of the prize was a Christmas card from me, but it's not just any Christmas card. I'm gonna write them a poem, <laughs> which is actually a much more <laughs> time consuming task than I thought. Like, I haven't written a poem in a long time. <laughs> write the poem, write these. Then I'm gonna go to the gym, come back, get my lips done. Um, I'm not getting much before anyone freaks out. They're just slightly uneven. One side breaks down faster than the other. So I always just have to get them balanced out. It's kind of like a corrective thing um, rather than getting like loads and loads. I'm not trying to look crazy, but I do just want um, my cupid's bow to be even. If that's okay with you. Yeah, that was my alarm to leave. Oh, she's texted me. Fab. Great. Um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? If something, if there's a noise or something that distracts me mid-sentence, you best believe I'm not going to remember the sentences. Oh no. Oh no. It says happy Christmas. Right in the middle of my poem. <laughs> I did it. Oh, so they end, oh my God. I wrote them the same poem because it's like a poem about the two of them as friends. Um, they ended up being much longer than I thought, so <laughs> I wrote them on writing paper, which seems fitting, and I'm going to put them in the card. I'm really, I'm really pleased with them. I just read them to my mate, and he said that they were not terrible, so hopefully it's good enough for them. Okay, <laughs> I am wrapped up. Um, I got loads of questions about this scarf on my Instagram. It was, it's from Bershka. I got it off of ASOS. It was sold out on ASOS um, and one, I had it in my uh, wish list and it, as soon as it came back in stock, I swiped it. But I don't know what the availability is like on the actual Bershka website. So for those of you who are asking, it is Bershka and it's so, so soft. It's actually a really lovely scarf and I love the colors. They're so me. I'm gonna play some songs. Little frozen lips, ready, ready to go uh, to reduce the swelling and the bruising as much as possible. Cause last time, do you remember I bruised all the way up to my nose, which I've never had before. Um, I'm going to a new girl. This is the sec last time I went to her. This is the second time she's doing my lips and I really liked how she did them. Um, but I bruised much more than I normally do, but I like the end result more. So um, I don't have any Arnica cream, so I'm just gonna just ice the crap out of them. Okay, gum in, tunes on. Let's go be brave, guys. <laughs> From the moon And I eat anything that I want I got a belly, got a booty, got that thunder nut. This bitch got me paying the rent, paying the trip Oh, they look good I think this is the best I've ever been I'm so excited I have my little lips 
for my slightly bigger lips. Time to go home. <laughs> Look at them. Obviously, they're going to go down. They're not going to be this big. But that shape. <laughs> swollen but they're really not that bad i've got a little bit of bruising sorry if this is gross i've got a little bit of bruising but they are not too bad this morning so today so far i this angle oh, oh, oh. <laughs> i got myself a lint advent calendar this year because it's my favorite chocolate i don't think did i have a chocolate advent calendar last year i don't know whether i did you know first of december Oh, lint chocolate is the absolute elite. I've done a little bit of work this morning and I'm gonna spend the day getting the house ready for Christmas. Today is tree decorating day, hopefully. I need to brave the scary under the stairs where all the spiders live, but that's also where my Christmas tree decorations live. Whoa. <laughs> What a delight. Mm -mm. As you will have grasped, I'm not doing Vlogmas this year. I did say it the other day. Many days in December have already been by the time this video goes up, so no Vlogmas this year. I'm prioritising my mental health this Christmas and I'm taking December slow. Because <laughs> normally it's my busiest month of the year and then by the end of the year I'm so burnt out that I don't really enjoy Christmas. <laughs> So this year, I'm taking it real slow. Yeah, I want to try and actually get all my work done by um, like by halfway through December so I can basically take two weeks off at the end of December. So hopefully today I'm going to be decorating the Christmas tree, put the wreath up and just start trying to feel festive. I mean, it's a lovely sunny day. <laughs> it doesn't feel particularly wintry. Yeah, I want to try and inject some Christmas spirit into this house this year. I've never decorated a Christmas tree by myself before. But it means that I can do it exactly how I want. <laughs> but it also means it's probably going to be a bit of a challenge trying to put the lights up. <laughs> it's a two-man job. It's a two-man job. But I'll do it. I'll be okay. So welcome to the first vlog of December. Happy December, everyone. I'm going to try and make these videos as festive as I can. And I'm also going to try and upload some videos in between the vlogs as well. I want to decorate a gingerbread house with you guys. Um, and just... Have some fun. Have some fun. I know that obviously this vlog's already started, but it's just because it's the 1st of December I feel like reintroducing it. I'm actually trying to decide where to put the tree this year. Um, I've now tried it in two different places. So one year I put it in this corner, and then last year I put it in that corner by the window, which I think aesthetically it looked better by the door and by the window. However, because it's in front of the window, it blocks out a lot of the light in here. And as you guys know, I am a moth and I need as much light as possible during this time of year. So I don't, I don't know, because like when you walk into the living room, if it's there, it's the first thing you see and it's really lovely. But then if I put it there, when you're sat on the sofa, it's in front of you and it's really lovely. Part of me wanted to put it in the office, but then I would never see it because I don't spend any time in my office. Like that is just crying out for a Christmas tree. Would you not agree? Because I know I agree with me. Like if I was hosting, oh my God. If I was hosting Christmas, I would have a huge dinner table 
and a Christmas tree in here as well as a Christmas tree in the living room. Like I want to be a double Christmas tree person. That is what I aspire to be. To be honest, I'm, no, Emma, no, don't do it. Just then I was like, I could get a real tree and put a real tree in here and then I don't have to store it throughout the year. Oh yeah, no, that would look really nice there. And it would, oh. Okay, I twisted my own arm. I'm gonna go get a second tree. <laughs> Just a small one and maybe a real one. This is what I'm wearing. Very much like a mum from my town. I look like a woman who's about to go buy her second Christmas tree. I'm... <laughs> I can't deny it, I hate myself. <laughs> Let's go, I'm gonna be a two tree girl. I just did a bad thing. Let's go. Look at my lunch. So this is cabbage fried in chorizo, garlic and onion, um, chili salmon, and then some roast potatoes. I just got back from the shops. I just did a bad thing. I was gonna get a real tree, like a small, I was gonna get a real tree, but I ended up getting a small fake tree because I have a feeling I'm gonna wanna do it every year. Let's go outside We can hang out on the beach without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Hello and good morning. Alohomora. Um, so yesterday didn't quite go as planned. I had a lovely, lovely day in the end though. So I was supposed to be going up to London last night, very last minute. So I had to decorate, I was like, I need to decorate these trees. Um, Cause now my living room is like at that horrible stage where you've like moved all the furniture for the Christmas tree but without the lovely reward of the Christmas tree being done. <laughs> I was like, I need to finish these trees before I go to London. And then Laz texted me like, I'm home, do you wanna to go to the pub? So I canceled on London. <laughs> um, and I ended up going to the pub last night with Laz and it was really nice to see her and catch up with her. And my dad was there cause it's his local. So I also saw my dad. Um, and, and we had a few drinks. And then I came home and I was in bed by like 10.30 rather than much later, which is what I would have done. I still slept in until eight. <laughs> um, I do have, so yesterday I wanted to do the trees all day because I didn't have any work to do. And today I do actually have to film a couple of things. Um, but I'm gonna probably do that a bit later and I might start my day finishing off the decorations. I need to put together the big tree in the office. Um, but this is how this tree is looking. It's a little baby tree. I do wish I'd gone one foot taller. So maybe where it was, it ended where the star is and then the star was here. But it is super, super cute. I've only done the tinsel and the beads and the lights so far, but it's nice. It's like token festive in here and then the big tree can go in there. I don't spend that much time in the office, but it's where I'm gonna be shooting all of my Christmas content probably. Um, so to have like the big, nice, impressive tree in the room that has better lighting just makes sense for work. <laughs> so I think this tree in here, I'm gonna make quite traditional, um, as traditional as I can make. Obviously my baubles are like narwhals and boobs and bums. <laughs> like my, my baubles are wild, um, but I think I'm gonna do a color scheme this year, which I've never done before. Normally I just make it as out there as possible. So I think in here I'm gonna do reds, greens and golds. Am I? Yeah, reds, greens and golds. Cause obviously my living room is green and I got this really, really lovely soft red throw yesterday when I bought the trees and it is, it's so nice. Like I don't have a soft blanket so um, when I saw this red one, I was like, oh, you're coming home with me. Yeah, in here I'm gonna make it 
traditional colours, which isn't my usual style, but I think it might be quite nice to just really go full classic Christmas in here and then use the tree in the office. Um, I'm going to go for pink. I have loads of pink baubles. Um, so I'm going to go for like pink and then use all my crazy baubles in there, like a really out there tree because um, it matches the pink sofa. So I'm matching the trees to the rooms and I'm, yeah, I'm really excited. I think it's going to be so nice. I also picked up this. I've always wanted one of these. It is a little macrame tree. Yeah, I either want to put it above my bed because I never decorate my room, my bedroom for Christmas. And I think that's a shame because why not? Why not? So I think I'm going to bring a few Christmas decorations down into my bedroom and potentially hang that on the brick wall above my bed. But I don't know whether there's enough space for it. It might be a bit long. If not, maybe replace the dream catcher with it. I'm not sure. Or maybe try and fit it in. Nah, I don't think it would work on the gallery wall. But, yeah, I want to put it in here somewhere. Or against the wall. Because I want it to be... I want a nice contrast between the, the dark wall and the white. Later on, I have got a spin class and combat class. It snowed last night. There's snow on the floor, which is exciting. But it also means it's going to be icy. And I'm driving, like, tonight. So I'm a bit scared. It's, like, country lanes. I hate driving when it's cold because I'm really scared of ice. <laughs> and then Saturday, I am going to the ice hockey with my friend and I'm actually really looking forward to it. He told me last time it was so fun. I'm excited to see what all the fuss is about, you know? And I'll probably vlog a little bit of it. Um, I want to try and edit the vlog mostly tomorrow so that I can take the weekend as off as possible, but I will probably feel feel i'll probably film a few clips of the ice hockey and just insert them at the end because um it could be quite a fun thing to watch that's enough rambling i've been talking for nearly seven minutes so i'm gonna go charge this camera uh and then put up this other tree done my makeup is done i went in today i went full glam for literally no reason i just felt like it now i also had to shoot a couple of pictures for a job I've now done. I also filmed a little reel. Um, I need to film a outfit reel either today or tomorrow. Preferably I want to get it done today so that I can just edit it tomorrow but it is like one o'clock. I don't know where the day has gone. I woke up quite late. I woke up at eight um, which is probably where <laughs> those hours have gone. <laughs> I was asleep <laughs> but i'm gonna make myself breakfast i haven't eaten anything yet today get back into my comfies because no one's decorating a christmas tree in normal clothes no you decorate a christmas tree in your pajamas so i'm gonna put my comfies on i'm gonna decorate and then i've got spin and combat class tonight which will be always amazing always fun um my first workout in a long time also my hair needs washing like so it also look how dark i've gone at the root look how long they are but i like it i like it because when my hair's up in a ponytail i look brunette like from the front and then i have like a really like the the, the blonde is still quite like a clean blonde it's not gone too brassy this time obviously the back of my neck where my fake tan is always goes a little bit brassy but the blonde has stayed quite well, so I think I'm going to hold out and get my hair coloured in the new year. Like, not get it redone for Christmas or anything. I'm not that fast. It's starting to feel like its health is slowly but surely coming back. Um, I was going to go darker this winter, but I actually think I'm just going to go darker naturally. It's kind of becoming like an... It's kind of becoming like an ombre. That's what I love so much about when Claire does my hair. I, I don't know how she does it, but, like, I don't have... Apart from at the front here where I have my um like fr my like framing um throughout my hair my roots never look like roots they just it just ends up almost looking like a balayage I don't know how she does it look how greasy it is I'm so sorry I, I honestly don't know how she does it that's why you have to find a hairdresser that you know you love and you trust because she is the best of the best and she absolutely sorts me out and which is why i travel all the way to stafford to get my hair done i literally travel for like three hours there and back to get my hair done it's a joke but it's worth it it really is worth it she's amazing <sighs> okay let's go get some food i am really hungry Make 
Forget our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people please Morning, it's Friday. Happy Friday. TGI Friday. Um, so last night I posted my monthly favourites video and the comment section is a bit of a shit show this time and I just I just wanted to talk about it. I had quite a lot of comments being like because it is my September October favourites and I'm posting it in December right like I know that that's late. I filmed that video well over a month ago and because it's you know part of my collaboration with the BBC which is a very exciting collaboration. And the fact that I could talk about a David Attenborough documentary as part of a job was very exciting for me. But anyway, basically it didn't get approved in time to go up last month. Um, I had to make a couple of changes, etc. And yeah, it didn't get approved in time to go up at the time that would make sense for a September and October favourites to go up. So it went up in December which I know isn't ideal. But yeah, people have been kicking off um, in the comments. I'm just a person on the internet. Like, sometimes it baffles me how much rage is behind messages. And I know that that rage is nothing to do with me. If you are upset or sad or angry enough to leave quite an aggressive comment on some, on a random person online's YouTube video, I am not the root of that problem and I know that and I've learned that over the years like I'm so detached from it if I look at it in that way but sometimes it's quite hard to look at it in that way but I'm just as I often do reminding you guys that it's not that deep I'm just a random person online who makes YouTube videos like you can't character assassinate me I know I'm very honest online I'm very open online but that does not mean it by any stretch of the imagination that you know everything about me because I'm actually, surprisingly, um, if you watch my videos and see how open I am about most things, I am actually quite private about a lot of things that happen in my life. I, I'll take constructive criticism, of course, but like that it wasn't constructive, it was just rude. It was just rude. And I hate giving it the time of day, but I honestly, a lot of the time, I, I if my mental health isn't that good, I just avoid the comment section, like I don't read the comments sometimes and that's sad because so many of you leave me such lovely wonderful comments and if I'm feeling like good I'll go through and I'll read them and I read every single one um, and I usually read the comments from the video like like normally if I upload a video I'll read the comments like a week later like there is a real delay which is why a lot of the time I don't reply to comments straight away and if you look back older videos have replies because I go back and read them do you know what I mean rather than reading them as they come out because it just feels fresh and I feel more attacked if it's like real time it just I don't know it kind of made me go to bed feeling quite heavy last night and I woke up this morning with the same feeling and I'm just like it's not fair because someone's taking their shit out on me online if they if they had left me the same pointers but worded in a way that was actually constructive I wouldn't have responded like that but it's just like attack 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 rather than like Emma this comes from a place of love I'd like to you know help improve our viewing experience do you know what I mean rather than just like you are a terrible person because right let me finish my face and then as you can tell I'm very very snoozy I'm like I'm very low energy this morning we'll pick it up we always do. And just be nice to people in general, man. Just be nice. That's my motto for today. Just be nice. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Morning. Oh, let's take the star off. I feel like a lot of this vlog has been here. It's Saturday. I had a really lovely night last night. I took it off of everything because yesterday was... I actually... I don't actually think I vlogged at all yesterday, but I had such a busy, busy working day. I got so 
much work done because Tuesday's my birthday and then Saturday's my like birthday night out. So and I have actually got quite a lot of work next week. So I wanted to lessen the load a little bit for myself. Um, so I had a really like productive day yesterday. And this morning I went to spin as I always do on a Saturday. And now I'm just doing some faux freckles, fake tan freckles to develop while I do my brows. Cause today I'm gonna go watch the ice hockey with my friend Keelan. Um, and we've been meaning to go and see them play for ages because he went once and said it was super fun. So I'm excited, it's like bring your own booze. So we're just gonna go and get pissed and watch the ice hockey. <laughs> that is my Saturday. It should be really fun. But yeah, last night I just had the night off by myself, didn't see anyone. I FaceTimed Liz and then I had a few G&Ts by myself. I literally did laundry in heels. <laughs> it was, it sounds a little bit like I'm insane when I say it out loud, but I um, had a full like main character moment where um, I was trying on outfits for Saturday, potential outfits for Saturday next week. And I put on my like giant silver sparkly go-go boots and I had like a banging playlist on and I just danced solidly for like an hour and a half while I folded laundry and tried on outfits. Um, and it was like a movie you know, like when they go shopping and they try on loads of different, like a movie changing room montage scene. Tried to have an early night and then Liz calls me at like 1am um, or like half midnight. Or it might have been like 1am. Um, she FaceTimed me because she was at the station, bless her. Um, so I talked to her while she waited for her train. And then, yeah, I went to sleep, got up early. <laughs> the dark circles under my eyes are pretty intense because I didn't get a lot of sleep, but I got to spin. I'm very pleased I got to spin. I feel really good for it. And I came home, had a big breakfast. I had a smoothie and porridge, changed my bedding, and now I'm getting ready for the day. One of the jobs I did yesterday was filming an outfit reel for Monkey. And it reminded me how much I really love fashion reels. And I really, really, when I go through periods of like reduced motivation, which I've been in for a few months, um, the first thing that goes is reels because it's kind of like an extra thing but that's the only way to grow your Instagram and my Instagram is slowly dying I'm like I hit 100k earlier on in this year and I've like dipped back under 100k which was pretty humbling so I need to start doing reels again because I know they're really really good for my um, channels I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I need to figure out what to wear <laughs> 